What's happening everybody, it's Easy Victus here with another video for all of your animated show and movie related needs. Today, my piece, we'll be discussing the new Netflix series that's coming out October the 27th, Blood of Zeus. And I'll be going through all that you need to know about the show and all that I've dug up about it as well. I absolutely love Greek mythology. I mean, I've always loved the heroic tales and interesting backstories of all the characters, the gods, the goddesses, the demigods, the monsters. I love it all. They all live such dramatic lives and it's always been fun to kind of be a part of it, you know, with reading. But none of their stories can be as dramatic or as weird as Zeus himself. I mean, let me tell you. So Zeus, as you've seen in that amazing trailer that we just got, is the father of the main protagonist, Heron. And if you are a Greek mythology lover like I am, you know this is the most played out story of all time. I mean, I'm definitely here for it and will probably love the hell out of the series, but Zeus basically can't keep his hands to himself. He has more kids than I can count, and they all have cool stories behind them due to most of their upbringings being by mortals instead of gods. One of his most famous bastard demigod sons you all know about is Hercules and his power is measurable to some of the strongest and most capable gods there are, like Poseidon or Ares, which are both pretty big freaking boys. And this all ties into what I'm about to say, don't worry. So let's get into the trailer and talk a little bit about Blood of Zeus. So as stated in the trailer, the last of the Titan species as a whole, which have always been enemies to the gods for their rivaling levels of power and strength, was killed near the beginning of the world, with a crazy big lightning bolt from Zeus himself finishing the titan boy off for good. As this titan was killed, he cast a curse, thus releasing a small army of giants and also creating giants as a new species entirely, a new way to torment the gods. Now, there are a handful of ways it is stated that the giants were born. Most of them stem from the earth titan Gaia giving birth to or spilling her own blood to create the giants like we saw in the trailer, but Gaia is a girl and either she's turned real masculine or that's not Gaia at all. Either way, the giants are here now and they're out for God booty. Now each giant that you saw from the trailer is called a Bane or in dictionary terms, a cause of great stress or annoyance to a specific God. Due to the Titans hating the gods, like I said before, and wanting to make their life a living Hades. Ha, huh. see, see what I did there? Each of these giants actually have a name and a role, funnily enough. And here they are. We have Alcyonius, the Bane of Hades. Thun, Bane of the Fates. Clydeus, Bane of Hecate. Paraboia, Bane of Aphrodite. Polyboats, Bane of Poseidon. Porphyrian, Bane of Zeus. Otis and Ephialates, Bane of Dionysus. Because screw him, right? He gets two. Orion, Bane of Apollo and Artemis. Polidus, Bane of Hermes. Enceladus, Bane of Athena. Domison, Bane of Ares. And lastly, Mimas, Bane of Hephaestus. So there are many other giants in the Greek mythology timeline, but this show will seemingly just discuss these 12, which in my opinion makes sense. They are the most important and cause the most trouble for the gods. The trailer showed the main protagonist being the leader of the demons or daemons as they're called in Greek mythology. These beings have eaten the remains of the giants, which all or most have been slain at this point. This gives them the ability to harness a percentage of their power, making them very dangerous. In the trailer, the lead demon is seen saying, convert or die. So, I don't believe anyone in his army really wants to be demons. They must have been forced to, or they would have been killed on the spot by him. The woman Heron is talking to earlier is a Greek soldier and is asking for Heron to join the fight against those same demons that are wiping out their troops and their people. He will accept her offer after some thought, and along the way, he will figure out that he is the son of Zeus, and is humanity's only hope of fighting back the deadly force of demons. As the son of Zeus, and from what I can guess, he is a demigod like Hercules, he will find that his power will be unrivaled once he learns how to use and control it. Along the journey, of course, so that will be very fun to watch and explore. But this is where every Zeus and Sun Bastard story gets really interesting. Just like with Hercules, just like with Hercules, Hera, Zeus's wife, is very angry and upset at Zeus for having yet another bastard son 
and cheating on her. Which is totally understandable, but instead of keying his car or exposing him on social media like a normal human being, she works right alongside the demon horde's leader to kill Zeus and Hera. I believe Hera has given the demon lord a power, some type of strength that only he has and the rest of the demons don't, and this was passed to him for doing her bidding, of course. Because in the end, this will all be Hera's doing, in my opinion. She will be the mastermind behind all of it, as she has always been before. As the trailer progresses on, we see shots of a lot of different gods, like Ares, Hermes, Poseidon, Hera, Zeus, etc. Hopefully, we get to see all of them fight these opposing forces and show off their different abilities. Even though Zeus and his lightning bolts are pretty cool, I wanted to see some Poseidon waterbending in the mix too, you know? Oh, I also forgot to say that it said that all you have to do is burn the giant's remains and the demons will fall. I'm not sure exactly how they know that. Maybe there is more than one giant corpse to feast on, which would make sense. Um, I have no idea, but wow, am I ready to find out. So there you have it, everybody. Will you be there on October the 27th to watch the official release of Blood of Zeus? I know I will. This show has definitely piqued my curiosity. Um, I'm really excited to start watching it because I've always been a nut for Greek mythology. It's like one of my favorite things other than anime. So yes, you right there. Yes. Yeah, you, I I'm talking to you. Did you like the video? If you didn't, please let me know why you did or didn't like it in the comment section down below. I try to get a video out every single Tuesday and Friday for my YouTube channel. And as well, everyone, thank you for a thousand subscribers as well as all those freaking hours watched you guys have gotten my channel finally to where i can gladly call myself a youtube partner i appreciate it thank you guys and make sure you stay notified like i said i do post every tuesday and friday or try to at least right here you can subscribe and hit my little noggin if you really liked the video and if you really really liked it please consider hitting the bell so you get notified whenever my videos do come out. Also hit this video right here where I discuss how did Engdine Avatar The Last Airbender and uh, it's one of my favorite videos that I've made so definitely go check it out. Everyone thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great day.